It was the fall of 1998 when Northeast Ohio was first introduced to Stacy Bell. They'll see even more, but all bright-eyed and ready to start your day, Stacy reported for the morning show when Bill and Stephanie were in the studio. And John, they are also taking a lot of precautions to. And for a girl from Arkansas, Stacy even found herself quickly getting used to our winters. You know, all the snow and more snow. Do you have any final thoughts to cheer us up at all? No, other than it's cold out here. I mean, can you give me some thoughts to warm me up? Since those early days at Fox 8, Stacy always connected with viewers, eventually moving into a new role at the anchor desk. Good evening, I'm Stacy Bell. It's a but no one could deny the chemistry once Stacy and Bill teamed up on Fox 8 News at 5. Can I get a compliment now? You, you, you're fabulous, you're spectacular, it's all about you. The two also became the team to watch at 10 o'clock and as the years passed, it just kept working because they clicked with the viewers and each other. It is. That's what's special about this place. The people have always made it great. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, things change. Things change indeed. After 13 years, Stacy is saying goodbye. Okay, so how did this even happen? How did we get to the point now where Stacy Bell is actually leaving Fox 8? Well, here in Northeast Ohio, we of course like to blame a lot of things on the Browns and we can probably add this to that list. We feel really good about the quarterback situation going in. Going back a few fired coaches to when Romeo Cornell was in charge, Stacy met the man she eventually married, Anthony Lynn. Now, if she can just remember what he does for his current employer, the New York Jets. He is the running backs coach. See, I had to think about that. I always have to think He was about a running back. It. He is, yeah. For the dreaded Denver Broncos. He, he, got a, he got a Super Bowl ring with the Broncos. See, he knows more about him than I do. But honestly, okay, so but that's... Broncos in Cleveland, a bad thing. Okay, so Bill knows a lot about Anthony, but he even performed their wedding ceremony, which is why the time has come to say goodbye. This married couple has been commuting to see each other for far too long. And it finally came down to me feeling like I had to make a decision. It wasn't fair of me to the station or to Anthony to constantly go back and forth and not give 100% to either of the most important things in my life. So it was a tough decision. I think she needs to know that her, her real home is right here in Cleveland and she really needs to stay put. Jimmy Malone is a co-host on WMJI's Lanigan and Malone show. But through golf outings and other events, he also raises money to send kids to college. And Stacy has been right there to help more than 120 students benefit over the years. She's always been approachable and, and you can just talk to her and she genuinely cares about other people and that's, um, you know, everybody's not like that. She's a rare breed. All right, welcome Sorry. back. Now that, uh, you know, we're just, we talk here. We're all friends. Rare, caring, and so much more. Just ask some of her colleagues here at Fox 8. Stacy, just wanted to say the place will not be the same without you. Um, from the heart, I respect your talent. I admire you so much as a person and love you as a friend and wish you the absolute best in the future. Stacy, we've sat next to each other in the newsroom and over the years I can say that you've become more than a co-worker. You truly are a friend and I'll miss you. Best wishes. What can you say about Stacy Bell? Only one word comes to mind and that's class. Every time you see her, she's professional. She's beautiful, she's a wonderful person, and Stacy, we're sad to see you go. Stacy Bell, a beautiful lady with a beautiful heart. Stacy Bell, grace, elegance, style, and somehow you sat next to Bill Martin all these years. Good luck in your new adventures. We're sure you'll have a great life, and remember, you'll always be one of us. When I think of you, Stacy, I think of class and grace. Grace rhymes with Stace. You're one of the all-time greats. So privileged to have worked with you. God bless and good luck. We'll miss you. Stacy, I've enjoyed educating you in the world of sports over these many years. And even though you've stolen many of my best lines and opinions, often without any attribution whatsoever, I will miss you and miss you very much. Sincerity, kindness, quality, class. Those are the kinds of words that come to mind when I think of Stacy, and those are the attributes that are going to bring her, I hope, continued success and happiness. Stacy, we're going to miss you. We've already uh, acknowledged the problem we're going to have with Mr. Martin. You can come back from time to time, help us uh, keep him under control. And uh, I'm going to be seeing you in the Super Bowl. You with the Jets and uh, Anthony. I'll, of course, have to buy tickets for that. 
But anyway, remember you promised you'd be back for Wooly Bear number 40 next fall. You and Scooter, bless your heart, I wish you well. Stacy, what can I say? You're absolutely indescribable. The Bible says iron sharpens iron and that's what your spirit has done with us. We've kept each other sharp. But my real concern now, Stacy, is, uh, is Bill because you kept him in line. Now we don't have that element. So I'm very afraid you're going to have to maybe coach me on what to do next. You know, she's going with her husband and we have a bond um, and a friendship that will last our lifetime. Stacy, we already miss you and we'll always love you. I cannot imagine walking out of the studio for the last time on Wednesday. The prosecution says that Johnson acted as a go-between. It's definitely a chapter in my life that professionally I don't know if I'll ever eclipse and I will definitely never forget. I mean, this city and the people are always gonna be a part of me. Say goodbye. Mark Zinni, Fox 8 News. Say goodbye.